April Hamilton and our guest today is Larry Gross from Mountain Stage. We're going to be making chocolate souffle, kale chips, and apple rings. When you're separating eggs and you want to whip your egg whites nice and fluffy, if you have any trace of, of grease or fat, it doesn't work. It won't, they won't rise. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so that's why um, when you're separating eggs, you have to be super careful not to burst the yolk because it's fatty and the egg white um, is not. So that's why I've never used the um, eggshell method because I'm afraid it will... Bust the yolk. Yeah. I traveled by myself a lot. So I was driving a long distance and back then I didn't even have, you know, you had hardly any way to listen except for your radio. Mm -hmm. to, so I would, sometimes I would write songs and as I drove, at least sure. I'd make them up. And so that's how I wrote Junkie Junkie in the van. While and, you were driving? Yeah, and it was it was like contrasting my whole eating habits as a kid with what I had seen in New York and Los Angeles. Oh, okay. Because also I, I joke with those people because some of them, you know, they were religiously serious about this and others, like like all of us, I mean, they're, they're serious sometimes, but then they'll go out and eat donuts and sure. hamburgers too. So it was, uh, it was an interesting thing to, to just for fun. And then when I sang it, the first time I sang it in a club, I got out of my car and I found this chords for it on the guitar. I was singing in a club, it might have been in Boston, and it, people went crazy. And I realized I was onto something because what I was onto was that a lot of people were like this. You know? Okay, sure. They, they had both sides. They had. So I was talking about myself, but. That the song got popular because so many people said, that's just like my brother, it's just like it? my cousin. Let me try it. Just, you just kind of scoop it and let it run through your fingers. A couple times, yeah. Perfect. That's pretty easy. What we're going to do now is whip uh, the egg whites and whip the egg yolks. And then it gets folded all together. Do you know how to fold? Uh, no, but do you just... Kind of you turn, you're going to turn the bowl and like this. Yep. Yep. And go all the way from the bottom and actually fold it over. Like I got that. you. Yep. It's a natural. But I, I began to, you know, do regular dates, but also because I had learned how to work with kids and sing with kids and also developed a little thing that I did where I would write songs with them. We're going to start. Right. We're going to add about keep a going third of that. Yep. Keep going. I'd, I'd done a thing where I started writing songs with kids, so I realized I could do that in other places, so I began to do it in other places, and and I got, actually in the end I went to like 20 different states doing that, and I did it all over this state, I think in the end, I think in West Virginia, I think I have sung in every county of this state, that is 55 awesome. counties, I'm pretty sure. Isn't that fun? That's good. And you saw eggs, a little bit of sugar, dark chocolate, a splash of cream, a pinch of salt. It's dark chocolate, was it? I used the Ghirardelli double dark chocolate chips. I would go to Gertie's Folk City and try to sing at open mic nights and stuff, and then there'd be comedians hosting. And man, I thought, these people, they, they don't even have a guitar in front of them. They just stand there. Sure. So, you know, if things got rough with a singer, you just start singing the song. But, okay. But they got nothing. They, they got nothing. They're not making yeah. anybody laugh. Guess what? It's painful. Time to go home. Some of my favorite people I went out with were like Martin Mull, oh, awesome. Robert Klein. Every night I would watch their act, even though it was the same stuff, just because it was you funny. In a bowl, but we've got this parchment paper we're just doing right here. And you can actually use the parchment paper as a tool to help you cross it around. Parchment paper yeah, is the girl's stuff. best friend. I know. Yeah. Forget diamonds. And about the time that they're done is about the time that the soup plates are done, I would guess. It's Chris. Oh man, that's great. Perfect. Yeah. Okay, well, good. That is great. Well, there are variations on the crispness. Very nice. <laughs> So that, now you have an apple brain. Oh, yeah. So you help yourself. This wonderful chef who I admire, um, Ferran Adria from Spain, 
and he says if you, um, if this is not cuisine, this apple right here, if you take this apple, but if you, if you put it on a plate, it becomes sure. cuisine, or if you do this to it, it becomes cuisine, so. Hey, it's the same with art. Okay. If you conceive it, the first person to put up a blank canvas and say, this is my painting. Yeah. Nobody else can do it after that. That person, that was, that was their <laughs> that was art. the, okay. So this is a nice mix of great stuff. Sure. Well, we got a fruit, a vegetable, you. and our dessert. I'm April Hamilton. Check out my column every Sunday in the Sun in the Gazette. Sorry. I'm April Hamilton. Check out my column every Sunday in the Gazette Mail. No, no. She's April Hamilton. Check out her column, Counterintelligence, every Sunday in the Charleston Gazette Mail.